Tonight on the Double Double E, we have SummerSlam. Even though it's the wrong time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, we have hot action planned tonight for our fourth pay-per-view in the season calendar. And now we will get started. As King Python would like to say a few words and we're opening encounter tonight. So tonight, SummerSlam and King Python will lead the opening of the show tonight. He just what he has to say on this particular night. So yes, some choice words from King Python for the Double Double E universe, it seems. Maybe he's entering uncharted waters. Seems that this crowd tonight is loving the apparent transformation here at King Piper. As, as we can see here in this ring. And there we have it. 
Strong words from King Pipe and Sir Knight. We get action started. Sir Knight at SummerSlam. Dramatic start. Opening to tonight's affairs. And our next match, well, opening match tonight, Ace Adam and Johnny Jaguar will go head to head. And I suspect things might not go smoothly as Ace Adam has had a bit of an adversary of mysterious figure. Shadowy figure seems to be interrupting him as of late. Will he turn up once again tonight? We'll find out very shortly. And we're off our opening match at SummerSlam and all oh, Johnny Jaguar straight in there, a pump handle slam, oh look at that. Oh, good turn around there from Ace Addo. Now back in action. Oh, look at that! But what is he trying to achieve with that maneuver? And he's had him now with the shoulder charge. Oh, and 
Ace Adam controlling the headlock there. Assault there with the feet of Ace Adam and oh look at that, he is now showing off. Way. Oh, look at this now. John Jaguar. This Adam staggers back to his feet. Oh, look at this. Oh, a complete takedown there by Johnny Jaguar. What will be his next manoeuvre? Oh, look at that. And now we have a cover. But that goes up on what? Oh. Uh, oh and the hip toss there from Ace Adam. Quickly turn the tables in this match. Now Ace Adam goes for the cover. And John Jaguar kicks that one. But now Ace Adam is setting up and yes he could finish the job right here. Tonight, oh look at this, oh the sweetness. Flattens from the Jaguar and now the cover once again. And this time he's done it. Ace Adam has done it. Here is your winner. Sugarfoot, Ace, It seemed he was not accosted tonight by the certain bloke from the casino, but there you go. We now move on to our next event. That went. That was her uneventful opening match, but I'm sure there'll be an event, eventful next match we have on our cards tonight because we have Falls Count Anywhere. Oscar Santosa and Sammy Smalley will go head to head. Making his way to the ring from Brazil, weighing in at 203 pounds, Wonder Kid Santos.
and we're off for a second match tonight. So the referee will have to break up the hold here between these two. And you may notice that Sammy Smalley is going for a more life footed approach tonight. He's not wearing his boot because he wants the difference in weight. Oh, look at this. What's going on here? It looks like Ace Adam is going to join the party as well. <laughs> and now we have a free swing in this ring right now. It's like it's a battle of the bare feet. Oh, he's just the sweetness on Sammy Small. He completely flies him. And now he's off like a shot. Sensational. And Oscar is now going for the cover. And a kick out on two. Oh, and Sammy Smalley saying, what's he doing here? What's he got in mind? Oh, look at that! Look at he kicks him square in the face there. And Los Santos looks like he's not getting up. Let's remember it in time. Sammy Smalley has other plans. Oh, look at the speed and swiftness there. He's definitely athletic tonight. Got his boots on. Oh, look at that. The splash did not connect very well. And Los Santos didn't have to take advantage. He was already weakened from the assault with Sammy Smalley from Ace Adam jumping in the action there. Choke is off to San Jose. Well, that drop kick connects there. Oh, look at this with a kill switch. And now setting up once again. Look at that. It's on age slam and oh he goes rolls him over into the cover. The kick out on two. Oh what a cheeky start. Oh and the arm drag flips him over completely. And now the cover. Again, kick out on two. And this falls count anywhere, but surprisingly, we haven't seen action outside the ring just yet. As of yet, may stay within the ring. Oh, and Sammy Smalley with a Frog leap there, but completely off cue with that, with that. Oh, look at this. With the head scissors. And he whips it around. Oh, look at that. And look at this. Oh, I thought he was going to. He has gone into the cover, rolled up in there. Oh, well, that was close there. He took out. Look at this, Santos just slide, and surely this is it for Sammy Smalley. Oh, and that was close. Two and a half. Kill switch. Oh, Fatim's off to Santos there. 
And now the action finally takes place outside the ring, but what has he got in mind? Wait, Sammy Sporley is uh, having a moment, maybe to recover from the earlier onslaught. Oh, and Oscar Tunes now joining him, and the action takes place right in, next to the crowd here. And now the headlock is leading him halfway up to the side of the stage. Oh, and actually taking place right up as far as away from the ring as you can get. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now Sarah Smalley is setting up. Oh yes. <laughs> so it's Sam Bryce doing off the job and now we've got to cover his false count anywhere. Can this be it? Oh well that was close yet again. Both of these two of them achingly close to victory. So now oh, he's not done yet. He is not done yet. This could be final blow in this match. Wait, what's going on? Oh, he's going to do it once again. He's going to do our step to the Look at that. Surely now his back comes down so hard. And that sheet there. And this has got to be it. And he is. He's done it. Sammy Smalley. All odds stacked against him. He has done it. In a battle of the bare feet, he has come out victorious. He is your winner. And yes, now we get to the real serious business now as the European Championship is on the line tonight. And after King Python's speech, you wonder, will he be firm favourite to retain the gold as he goes up against his old arch nemesis, Bad Bradders, as these two surely now must be winding down to settle the score once and for all. Title belt on the line tonight. The following contest is a steel cage match and it's for the European Championship.
Introducing the challenger from Leeds, England, weighing in at 242 pounds, Bad Brad. Introducing the champion from Manchester, England, weighing in at 306 pounds, he is the European champion, the Snake. And there he has it, the European belt, firmly adorned by King Python, but still Cage is not, is also a formidable foe, as well as his opponent, Bad Brothers, tonight in this title match. Oh, and here we go. Oh, King Python straight in there with the Bulldog. Still cage encounter. Question is, who will escape the cage with the title belt? It's a big question as King Python is already making a run for it. I think Bad Brothers will bring him back down to earth here. Oh, hanging on here. Oh, and cut down there. Now Bad Brothers having a go. Now King Python returning the favours. Now King Python, for me, looking like, he, well, looking like he was in control of this match, but now Bad Brothers could come back here. Quick maneuver there to get out of the way. Oh! King Python seemed to miss Q there. Drift himself up, and now Bad Brothers will take advantage as he will pull the lever. Oh! Another miss Q from King Python. Oh, and look at that fist slam there. Oh, yes, another bulldog from King Python. Now the knee, King Python. It's the back of Bad Brothers, and he is continuing the assault on the back. Oh, look at this now. Bad Brothers. Oh, he flattened there, that cutter. And now, he's actually going for a pin. Oh, uh, King, King Python kicks out. Bad Brothers now, scaling the cage. King Python does not have long to respond here. But I suggest, I suspect he will. Oh! Bad Brothers has escaped! Or has he? It seems he has got out of reach of King Python. Oh, wait, hang on. He could bring back. He's literally on the edge. Oh, he is hanging on there by a thread. King Python will not allow this. Oh, wait, but Bad Brothers. Oh, and he's handed down straight onto the apron. And now, as he's on top, I think Bad Brothers has done this. King Python once again crawling. He's desperate to not give up easily here with the title on the line. He has him by the leg again. And I think this time maybe you could have him. 
as he's pulled him back down. Now Bradiso will come back to continue the fight as these two continue their score. Oh, and now Bradiso is knocked down on Sabre and King Piper now has an opportunity to leave the cage, but he's not even over the halfway point. Yes, now he is on the top and now just needs to slide himself down and I think he has got it right here. But he's still struggling. Oh, and now Bradiso has returned to the fray. <laughs> <laughs> incredible what has happened here on the top of this cage and now it's going to be bad news for King Piper as he's hanging on by a friend once again and the scuffle will continue oh what is this King Piper has got top jumps again and now he could do it he has a chance now he has got to study his footing and do this as quickly as possible Bad Brothers is already recovering. King Piper now needs to steady himself. The Bad Brothers has somehow recovered and made his way back once again. Agonisingly close every time here. And we're back here once again in the same positions but this time oh now it's King Python that hits the deck and now Bad Brothers oh this is so close Bad Brothers is screwing up very quickly King Python has not got long here now too I think Bad Brothers looks like he may be out of there but once again King Python is back and we are exchanging places once again Oh, look at this. He's in by the leg now. Surely. Oh, King Python there. Seems to miss. Oh, but the head slam. And now he's gone. And now King Python once again has a chance here. He seems to be struggling with his footing. This cage is quite the opponent. Difficult to manoeuvre. But now surely this is it for King Python. He is struggling to get the other leg over the other half of his body over him. Bad Brothers is right up there like a shot straight away. Wait, I think he has done it. King Python has escaped. And has done it along with retaining the title belt. He has done it. And moving on, we have more rivalries ahead as Jackamus will go on against Grimes. Will they finally bury the hatchet? Whatever's happening between these two, we'll find out shortly, I imagine. But yes, Jackamus and Grimes. Next up, go head to head.
from Belfast, Northern Ireland, weighing in at 208 pounds, Jack A. And off we go in what should be an enticing encounter. I'm straight in there, but Jack and Russ with a quick counter. Oh, and that's a pet's there. Making waves, ripples through this ring. And yes, this is SummerSlam, so you can feel the heat in this ring. the afterglow. Oh, but Grimes avoids the final kick there and now. Oh, but still. Grimes will find ways to dominate. And now all setting up for what should be a dirty DDT. Oh, the impact of Jackmas's head there. And now we have cover. It's only a two count. Now goes for the cover. Oh, kick out one. Grimes looking fired up. Oh, but Jackamus counters and sending careening over the top rope. And now what does Jackamus have in mind? The scale is a turbuckle. Connect. Is that Fox Rush Aaron? Yes. Regular situations are in effect in this match, so we need to get back into the ring very shortly. Three. Oh, Jack and Mess attacking from the other side of the ropes. Oh, 
goal, Nick Sapsack there. And now, can Jackamus follow up as he flexes his muscles in this encounter? Oh, and the knee! Straight into the chest of Jackamus there, but now he has his legs to the dragon screw. Oh, and Jackamus is fired up now, showing off to this back to crowd, but maybe that move. Runs right behind there. Flattened in there. Oh, and a cheeky slap there from Jackamus. Oh, and it completely flips it over with that clothesline there. And Grimes, as he's at through here. Put the choke on Jackamus. Oh, look at this. Oh! There with that kick, and now Grimes is not done yet. I believe but Dirty DDT is back on its way. Yes, that made my ears vibrate. Oh, look at that! And now, all he needs to do is go for the cover. So I believe he has got it in the bag right now. As Grimes once again, and indeed, he's done it. Grimes successful once more. Renaissance with him a record against his arch nemesis in Jackamus. Oh, but Jackamus trying to go for the diamond grind. Well dominated because you do not. Oh, look at that. You do not try to take out your frustrations. And when he puts he will just keep pushing you down. Jackamus having to retreat out of there. And now, after the interesting turn of events we've seen tonight, we now go back to serious business. With title matches, titles on the line, as we've got the World Tag Team Championship. As we have the Wolf Brothers and the Dark Queens once again.
the lips that he was moving. At a combined weight of 437 pounds, the bad guy, Wool, and young blood, Ryan Wool, the Wolf Pack. And now we're looking to get that title back. The bad guy, Wool. changed hands Wolf, quite a few times so far. Young blood, Ryan Wool, which and you've already opponent. announced. At a combined weight of 476 pounds, they are the WCW Bifia. World Tag Team Champions, The Nightmare, and The Rocker, The Disciple of Darkness. And off we go, the tag team title on the line. And what is Swift Raven doing here? <laughs> Betty Wolf will sure to take advantage of that mistake. And this will go off uh, from the turnbuckle. Oh, look at that slam, the impact there. Oh, but Betty Wolf seemed to struggle there. <laughs> he seemed to not come out of that one. Great. And now, with him back on his feet, what will we do now? Oh, yeah, a bit toss there with his shoulder. But Swift Raven now with that counter. And pinning Benny Wolf back into his own corner. And now in the corner you don't want to be. With tag team partner of Daniel Darkling. Oh, in the tree of woe. Look at this. The assault now on Benny Wolf. And this crowd are not very happy about what is transpiring right about now. But Swift Raven. Look at that body slash there. Comes down hard on Benny Wolf. This encounter. Oh, look at this here now. As the tag to get drops the hole to get Ryan Wolf into the action now. As he will continue to take care of Swift Raven. And the ankle rocket. Oh, look at this hold here. I don't know if he'll make him tap. Swift Raven managed to roll him over. Get out of that encounter. And now, Swift Raven, what will you do here? Now we see the tag as Daniel Docklin will enter the ring now. As both tag teams are changing, the changing of the guards up to now. Oh, Ryan Wolf there. Ryan Paul on. Now we're going to see, oh, and then the Falcon Arrow there from Daniel Docklin. He is getting himself fired up. And so Raven seems to also be firing himself up, wasting in the wings if needed. That there, Daniel Darkling. Oh, what connects there, Ryan Wolf. And now Benny Wolf will be tagged back in. Oh, look at that. Look at that super kick there from Daniel Darkling. He's out of nowhere. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, a flapjack. And Benny Wolf is getting dominated here. He's going to need to make a tag. Ryan Wolf back into the action. Oh, back to the break. And now drops Daniel Darkling with that kick there. Back heel. Oh, Ryan Wolf. But wait, I think it's going to be yet another Falcon Arrow. Oh, look at that. And now we have a cover. Ryan Wolf kicks out on one, however. Ryan Wolf 
getting out of that situation there. Oh, and set up a sleeper slam. Flattens Daniel Dockley. And now the shoulder claw. And Rywolf is setting up. For potentially a cutter. Will he cut him in? Oh no, he's not going to be. Daniel Dockley comes up from behind. Now whips it back into the turnbuckle. Oh, look at that drop kick there. And now, oh, is it going to be yet another? No, it's not going to be. Ryan Wolf gets over that. Oh! Oh! Run straight into the turnbuckle there. This is just exploding out of control in this match. It's so fast paced. It's unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Completely flattens Ryan Wolf. And now he'll go for the cover with Daniel Dockley. Rival still very much in this match. Oh, and getting that away quickly there. Oh, and Daniel Dockley setting up. It's a dangerous time for Rival to get up here because I believe that Daniel Dockley is going in his grasp, and now it will be. Yes, it will be. The gory bomb. Oh. Into the apron, Ryan Wolf completely shattered from that impact. And now Daniel Dockley once again going for the cover. This surely must be it. But Benny Wolf is on. Yes, he has broken it up just in time there. And now Big Blue Spiral out of control of the ring here as both both tag team partners are going right at it now. And oh, Daniel Dockley, <laughs> how is he going to do it? Oh, Benny Wolf this time he's got another gory bomb. And now he's enough to flatten him as well. Oh, that's what you get for interrupting there. And now. What we do next? Oh, and I get back four. <laughs> Wait, can he connect? Oh, we have he's got an headlock there. Now, oh, wearing down Ryan Wolf. Ryan Wolf may even tap here. He's so to get out of this. Oh, wait, but he managed to roll over. But he's looking worse for wear. After that, get, oh, but look at that slide there. That side tackle. Oh, Ryan Wolf now could be setting up. And we roll on a cutter. Oh, yes, he will look at the impact on the apron. And then now Ryan Wolf. But Sir Freeman is in a prime position to break up any potential pin here. But he will chance it right next to Benny Wolf. There is a kick out on two. Very, very dazed and confused here. Desperate trying to escape. Oh, look at this hold here. Maybe now he will tap. Daniel Docklin in a submission hold. Oh, he rolls him over there. Once again, oh, denied by Daniel Darkley. Oh, once again, is it going to be a gory bomb? Oh, look at that back there, and now it has to be, surely. Very much aware, Daniel Darkley, that he's too close to Benny Wolf, but now he will. Oh, wait, what's his. Well, actually, he will now go for the cover. The delay may be crucial. Oh, a bro. <laughs> Benny Wolf, the other referees has a sensation. And Ryan Wolf has a chance to recover. Maybe this will be the turning point, and they may get their hands on the gold tonight. Potentially, but the referee is still out of it, and nothing can happen until the referee is back in the game. And now, oh, look at this. Here, oh, and I think he's busted open. Yes, this ring, the apron is harder than you would expect. But somehow, Daniel Dock is bleeding from that, which I do not understand how, but he is. See the blood completely. Enveloping his face right now. And now Ryan Wolf with chances are with a cover. Broken up there in the time by Sir Craven. And surely now Benny Wolf is not happy about that as he is trying to keep Sir Craven away from all the action here. Oh. Coming on left now. 
off the shoulder claw there. Oh, and look at that there. Eyebrows, I believe. Oh, the toe poke! Oh, it's still good in the face of the Raven. Now, surely he will go for the cover. Benny Wolf, no hesitating here. Well, leg goes up, one on one count, and not nowhere near enough yet. The Raven seems to be the one who has the least damage. Tied to this moment this match. Wait, I think Falcon Arrow could be coming. Oh, look at that. Now, once again, oh, puts him down. Now we have the cover from Sir Craven. Ramoth is just there if needed. Oh, Sir Craven is now setting up. He's ready to make Benny Wolf fly. Oh, he flips him over and look at that. And now surely this is it. But Ryan Wolf is right here. And he breaks up the hole. Oh, it's a frame. Clearly taking his frustration out there on Ryan Wolf. We're denying him opportunity there. He's defending the goal. Oh, and now Benny Wolf to take advantage. Look at this. Oh, yes. He's coming back. Ryan right, Ford now. Oh, and now we've got some Craven is also busted over, and surely these two cannot go for each other. Oh, and Benny Wolf set up. Surely now this is it. This is a defining moment in this match. Surely now. Give me the back summer. Oh, look at that. He's flat out the open now. This has got to be it. But he goes for the cover. Surely now. No, broken up. Just a naked time by Dan Darkley. Oh, Benny Wolf things have really spread out of control now. Now it just remains. Benny Wolf in. Benny Wolf in once again. Benny Wolf in. Sir Fraven, I should say. I oh, said so once again. Oh, another backstabber. And this has got to be it now, surely. As if two are out of action, this has got to be it. Oh, no. Not quite there yet. Still. I can't do. But now, I said he will go for the hole instead. Try and make Sir Fraven tap. Successful. Now, oh, Sir Craven coming back. A spinning power power there. And now, what do we see happen here? Sir Craven, and come back here. Oh, I'm surprised Benny Wolf has not come open there with that impact. And now, Trips him up. Oh, look at that. Oh, and now he has been busted open. I think it's only brutal. As Ryan Wolf is the only competitor here who has not been busted open as yet in this match. And it's not even extreme rules. First, the turnbuckle there. And it looks like the tag will drop two holes on the card here. Yep. Now back 
to Rymo Arms for Craven and I think Ben Doctor will be tagged in now and back with these two. So if we can get interesting now, oh look at that there. Ben Doctor. Oh and now Ryan Wolf will be busted out for sensational. Both from Brutal tag team comes out, Evans and Wickham's here on the double double A. Wonder how much longer will this continue? This onslaught. Oh, look at that there. Good feet of Ryan Wolf, and now. Ben and Darkling. Oh, the flapjack. Flattens Ryan Wolf. There it has him by the ankle here. Oh, look at that. Now, Ben and Darkling setting up. Ben Wolf wants to be out of it. No sign off to Fraven. Look at this. Oh, the rocket dropper. He has completely flattened him here. Oh, and that was close there. So what would be a successful type of defence? Ryan Wolf is still hanging on, but now we have the hole, and this could be it, surely. Somehow Ryan Wolf gets out of that. Daniel Darkwing still kind of in control here. Or Ryan Wolf, oh, side tackle there, trips him up. And now Daniel Darkwing completely rolling out of there. And Ryan Wolf looks so fired up now. Oh, and the action takes place outside the ring. There, crucifix and now they follow up. Oh, Daniel Darkling, he's got behind, but wait, two good blows between these two. Daniel Darkling, what's he intend to do next? Free throw with the elevation. Oh, once again, Dockside right. And now Daniel Dockling going for the cover. Surely this is it now. And it is indeed. It's finally it. In this long drawn out encounter, they have successfully defended their title belts. I thought it's been a brutal encounter. Both are bleeding, but they. Still hold on to the goals. Joyous celebrations. And the Rocker, the Disciples of Darkness. Moving on now back to singles competition as we have more titles on the line tonight. As Chris Bolt will go head to head once again to try and retain or win back the title belt he lost to the big kid last time out at Money in the Bank. Can he do it tonight or will the big kid reclaim and retain the gold? We'll find out very shortly.
following contest is a ladder match and is for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 318 pounds, Chris the Beast. And off we go in ladder match. And you wonder, surely with these two heavyweights at the ring, may one will truly break. Should they pull from about 10 feet up from a ladder? the action and take a place outside the ring finally big kid will have the ladder ready for the climb the title on the line oh look at this oh that right there oh sat down by Chris Bolts Now Chris Bolt having dispatch. Big Kid will have a go at the climb. And now there are two to fight out on the top. Oh, and as it's a title match, it's the belt, not the briefcase this time. That is suspended from the ceiling. Big Kid. Like he's having to all over again, even though he's the current title holder. Chris Bolt will join him. Attempt to win back what he'll believe is rightfully his after losing the title. That's some out, money in the bank. Now we have a ladder match to decide who will obtain the undisputed championship. Oh, and now Chris Bolt has a chance to win it back. He has his hands firmly around it as the big kid has just pounded to the apron. Such force from 10 feet up. Big kid crawling back to his feet. Chris Bolt has undone a lot. And he's done it! Chris Bolt has now won back. He is the new Unsweet WWE champion. He has done it again. For the second time running, Chris Bolt is the Unsputed champion. The double double A. Chris the 
Look at that grin on his face. Really pleased to have the Undisputed Championship back around his waist. But the action doesn't stop there because we have another championship. Yes, we have the championship from Wreckage. The regular WWE Championship sponsored by Smoking School. As Paul Dagger, our long-standing champion, will go head-to-head -head against Mustafi Dog, who is our current number one contender who has been pushing for that belt for quite a long time. Can he do it tonight? Or oh, Paul Dagger dazzle us with Olympic displays of power and force to retain the title. We'll find out our main event at SummerSlam. It's finally here. The one you've been waiting for. Fired up for tonight. The champion, title match. From Fort Worth, Texas. Weighing in at 318 pounds. He is the WWE champion, Paul the Olympian. There we have it, the WWE Championship on wreckage on the line at Summerslam. Well, Dagger looks a bit too comfortable for this encounter, but this is going to be a serious test for him tonight. Oh, and the Safi Dog with a Bulldog straight in there. Oh, 
dagger there. That toss. Leg sweep there. Oh, they lift you up here. Sit down. There. Get, oh, and they kicked a follow up, drop kick there, and now, surely. Stuffy dog still. Oh, well, here. The dagger. A moment, but my Stuffy dog will break out of that there. Uh, it's that carry. Oh. That way there by Paul Dagger. Paul Dagger looking more and more confident. As he's proven in the past. Match do not phase him much. Just put on a strong performance. Duke Boy it takes to retain the title. Staffy Dog now with the bear hog and things are taking a two for the whistle, Paul Dagger. But he can break out of it. Just to make sure that Staffy Dog cannot have the opportunity to follow up. Maybe he will. Paul Dagger getting out of there just in time. Oh, look at that push there. Going to look at that. Oh! Now the choke hold. Turbuckle weighing down the Staffy Dog. And now Paul Dagger is setting up. Oh, look at that spear. He puts down the Staffy Dog. And now, surely, opportunity will arise. Oh, and that was close. With a two count, I didn't think it would be that close so soon in this match. Paul Dagger definitely looking better in the exchanges so far. Oh, but look at Paul Dagger here. Oh, that's that stand there. And now we have an unexpected cover. This time going up on one. Oh, shoved aside there by Mustafi Dog and Paul Dagger comes to connect there. And now Mustafi Dog with a bear hook once again, squealing on Paul Dagger, who just playing his arms all over the place. Oh, and I thought he was going to tap there, but he managed to break out just in time. Oh, and that was Happy Dog, leading from, of course, that impact there of that face buster. Clear has busted his face wide open there. Now, once again, the leg sweep. And surely Paul Dagger. With it. Olympic slam! Oh, and the opportunity, yes, I think that surely it's going to be a successful top defence now. Oh, and Paul Dagger once again setting up, this could be. And oh, the spear, the spear, he puts it down once again, and now, holy. 
As he drags him to the centre of the apron, surely this is it now. Oh, not quite there yet. Staffy Doll to Mao. Two and a half there. Wait, what's this? Oh, full dagger. Continuing the assault. Can't be much left now for Mustafi Doll. Oh, look at this. Once again, Olympic slam. Oh, sensational impact there on the apron. And now, Paul Dagger, surely, I would have thought it would be moments away from victory, but the Staffy Dog still going. Still fighting, keeping himself in this encounter, this title match. Paul Dagger seemed to desperately be lashing out now to try and maintain. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, sensational impact there. It's got to be now, surely. I think he has the wrong things in mind. Maybe he'll try. No, too close to the ropes there. Broken by the ropes. Tried to go for some shield. Now a cover. I believe he's left it at an awkward time. That goes to two once again. Paul Dagger, I think he's waiting for the finishing manoeuvre here. What will he have in mind? Wait, I think here, is he trying to make him tap? Mm. The dog was his way out of that one. Oh wait, Mustafi dog. Took him over. Oh look at that. He's put that in a crumpled heap and now surely in hot. Surely this would be an anticlimax if it is. Surely not now. Oh, Dagger kicking out on two as you expect. But surely it's only a matter of time now. Oh, Dagger's looking rather than steady. Wait, watch this. Oh, the Texas Jab, but I think he's turning the tables firmly in his favour now. Chris Hunt's seen out of this match. And now, will he go for the cover once again? Will this be it? Will be the knockout blow. Oh, and once again, achingly close for Paul Dagger. Yes, you always expect. Oh, and now he's setting up. This will be it. This will be it. Yes, and oh, no, countered. He's kicked to the face by Mustafi Dog. That could be a turning point in this match because that was just out of the blue. No one would have thought. And now, oh, and he's head flying over the top rope. And this match will go for a little while longer. Yes, this is about made of This one is explosive made of as we've ever seen here on the double, double A. Section out of face inside the ring. Very really briefly, though. Oh, but the spear finally connects, and this could be it. This could be it. He's waiting for the right moment to strike, and now I think he's done it. Will this be it? And he's. No, he's not. Still two and a half. We we're just so convinced there. We would hear celebration music. Blowing up with the speakers, but no, not quite there yet. If it at all tonight, the Saki Dog could, could still pull off the shot of the night. Oh, and it could well be as Mustafi Dog is now setting up. Oh, look at this for the first time tonight. The solo and drop. Oh, look at the impact there of Paul Dagger. He may well be crushed and defeated from that impact. Let's see, as Mustafi Dog now rolls him over for the cover, will this be it? It is sensational! The WWE Championship, who would have thought? Paul Dagger looked like a certain to retain it, but no! It's not believable, he is the new WWE Champion, we've not had a WWE Champion in such a long time with the Paul Dagger, it was just revolutionary here in the double WWE. So, enjoy this moment, you can how long it will last. Because we have, in just two weeks time, we have Hell in a Cell, and here and there, a few weeks time, it won't be long. So will Mustafi Dog have a long reign like Paul Dagger, we'll find out in weeks to come. But now he will.
Revel in the glory. We'll see you next time. Double, double A.